Hello darling Cancer, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another love read. We're going to look at your next 48 hours, okay? We're going to see what messages want to come through for you regarding love over the next 48 hours. It is a general reading, Cancer, so I always advise just to take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't apply. If you feel that you're connecting to this reading um, overall, uh, or any part of the messages that are coming through, be sure to show your support, Cancer. The best way you can do that is like, share, subscribe, drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know which part of the reading resonated the most for you. Uh, yeah, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, okay? I'm just gonna shuffle the cards. We're working with the Muse Tarot here today. I haven't worked with this deck for a while. So please be patient with me as I kind of uh, connect myself to the cards and drink in their messages. Don't be shy, Cancer. Let me know the sign of the person that you're connecting to in love or thinking of. Um, let me know in the comment section below. If you feel called to, of course, you don't have to. But if you feel called to, let me know. It's something that I'm interested in. And for those Cancerians that are just tuning in for the first time, welcome to the Cancer Moon Oracles channel. It's good to have you here. And I do hope that you get something out of this reading. And if anything, um, it's entertaining you. <laughs> and for those returning Cancerians, guys, you know I love you. I love you. You're my rock. You're my favorite and let's do this so spirit angels and guides what messages do you have for our cancerians regarding love over the next 48 hours spirit angels and guides what messages do you have for our cancerians regarding love over the next 48 hours spirit angels and guides what messages do you have for our cancerians regarding love okay cancer page of voices we've got the page of voices here could be connecting to an air sign here gemini libra aquarius but i feel over the next 48 hours there's someone here that is heavily on your mind okay maybe you haven't heard from this person for a while and you're wondering hmm what are they up to you're thinking about them they could be thinking about you too but the page of voices is a card of curiosity hmm feeling curious you know what are they up to what are they thinking how do they feel about me uh, maybe this is someone that you've recently met and you're you've got all these questions and no answers but you're looking for answers you could be looking for answers as well okay so over the next 48 hours you may be searching for answers you may be spying on someone here you may be looking at their socials looking at their social media checking up on this person seeing what they're up to doing a little bit of investigating cancer <laughs> all right <laughs> playing peekaboo you know um but the interesting thing with this card is I'm hearing spirits say that you are going to uncover something through your spying and uh, distant observation. I feel that you are going to discover something new about the person that you're connecting to here. Now, for others of you, this might be direct, uh, direct information coming from straight from the source but it's only going to come if you are asking them a direct question. You know, the page of voices invites you to ask questions. If you want to know something, okay, instead of letting your little mind try to formulate the answer or figure out the answer, the page of voices is like, you know what, just, just be brave and just come out with it and ask this person what it is exactly that you want to know because you'll get your answers that way. Okay, so, and I, I want to say too with the page of voices like cancer if you're doing a little bit of spying and investigating not everything isn't as what it seems to be or it, or it appears to be okay you're only going to get a clear answer if you ask a straight question or if you ask the question direct to the person okay so let's see okay two more cards came through yeah we've got the nine of voices here so 
This is the Nine of Swords. Okay, lots of air energy here. So I do want to say straight away with these two cards, Cancer, try to, try to resist the temptation on spying on this person. Try to resist reading more into a situation. Okay, try to resist reading more into a situation without really having the facts and the information at your fingertips. Because it's telling me here that over the next 48 hours, if you, I'll give you an example, if you go, say you're spying on this person and you see something, you don't really know the facts, but you're reading into the picture that you've seen. Say you see a picture, they're hanging out with the opposite of sex or someone else and you're reading into it going, oh my God, they're seeing somebody else, blah, blah, blah. And see how your mind, it's just starting to like stress and worry. And it's because you haven't got the true facts. So the nine of voices is saying here that you're creating maybe unnecessary stress or worry because you're in your head. You're in your head and it's created by your thoughts. It's created by your mind. It's created from the illusion that your mind is playing tricks on you here. Why? Because you haven't got the straight facts. So I, I want to say, Cancer, just kind of avoid trying to read into the situation or looking into the situation. Okay, don't do that because I feel that you'll give yourself anxiety. Okay, you'll, you'll stress yourself out unnecessarily and why lose a good night's sleep over not really knowing the facts or not really knowing the truth? Like, don't do that to yourself. Everyone deserves a good night's sleep. I love my sleep. I hate it when my sleep's interrupted, <laughs> you know? And I'm seeing a woman here and she's sleeping in this pillow of clouds <laughs> and she's having a peaceful sleep so that's why i feel like i want to say here avoid doing that avoid reading into a situation without having the facts okay without knowing what's really going on because i can see you might tend to do that you, you probably don't do that but if you go snooping around cancer okay if you start digging around you are going to give yourself anxiety, unnecessarily ang unnecessary anxiety, and you don't need it. You don't need it, okay? Let's have a look here. The, the next card is the Muse of Emotions. Now, in, in the Rider Waite deck, this speaks to the King of Cups. Okay, the King of Cups. It's asking for you to maintain control of your emotions. Okay, be in control. And look, you, you very well might be in control of your emotions here over the next 48 hours. You might, like for some of you, you might not even be losing sleep. You'd be like, Ugh, this doesn't even bother me. This is awesome because if you do that, you will be in control of your emotions. I'm seeing more control over your emotions or more control over your feelings. There is someone here that you really care about. Okay, the king of emotions is it's it's a depth of emotion. It's like I feel something for this person. Yeah, and um, you know, you know that saying like when we really love someone or when we really care about someone we can we can be, be more prone to feeling more insecure. And I say that because it's sitting next to the nine of voices. But that's because if you're allowing insecurity to take over here, it's because you're in your fear-based thoughts. Instead of coming from a place of maybe unconditional love for yourself. Okay, so I'm seeing a need over the next 48 hours to be more in control of your emotions have more emotional stability have more self-control over that department okay 
Let's take a look and see what else is coming through. Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have for our lovely Cancerians that are tuning in here today? We've got another card. We've got the star. This is Aquarian energy. Oh, by the way, you may be connecting to a water sign here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We've got Aquarius energy coming in with the star card. So when I look at this star card, this woman, she's sort of got her hands in a position of prayer. So I feel that you're really hoping and praying to hear from somebody here. Okay, because it's sitting above the page of voices. Okay, uh, sorry, it's not sitting above. It's sitting below the page of voices. So I feel that you're hoping and praying to hear from somebody here with the star card. Okay. Also, I want to say with the star card, you're being guided at this time. You're being guided at this time. The star is guiding you. So it's kind of like get out of your head and jump into your heart because that is going to guide you. I also want to say here, maybe over the next 48 hours, set some intentions. What do you desire, Cancer, for yourself in love? What are you hoping for? What, what are you dreaming about? And set those intentions. But yeah, strongly, strongly, I'm seeing here that you're hoping for the person that's on your mind, the person that you're thinking about, the person that you have on your mind when you clicked on this video, you're hoping to hear from this person. Okay. It's also a card of healing. The star also speaks to healing. So I may be, I, I see you may be healing um, maybe some fears or the thoughts that, you know, sometimes when we're in our mind, we, we make up stories that don't exist or are not there. The star card is saying that you might be healing this at this time. So over the next 48 hours, you might find yourself in a situation where the universe is testing you. Okay, it could be a situation here that typically would stress you out or make you anxious or make you worry. But the star card is it's like a gift from the universe. It's like an opportunity. It's like an offer for you to strengthen that part of yourself now. I hope that makes sense. You're also hoping to be seen by someone here. Okay, look, there could be someone checking up on you. You may have a secret admirer here with the Page of Voices and the Star card. This person may be secretly checking up on you and you wouldn't even know it. Okay. And as I say that, the first card that I see is the Knight of Emotions. Now we've got the King of Emotions and the Knight of Emotions coming through. This is Water Energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. There is someone here that stirs up really beautiful feelings inside of you. You're hoping for this person to take action towards you. Now, I do want to say, uh, Cancer, because it's sitting next to the star, something that you desire in love over the next 48 hours, I feel that it, it's going to manifest. The Knight of Emotions is a card of action. There is someone here that is taking action to come towards you. So I feel that this is going to manifest over the next 48 hours. It's someone that likes you. It's someone that's interested in you. I feel like they're going to come across um, like there's a kindness coming through this person. Uh, this is a romantic person, so they may make a romantic gesture. They may come in and compliment you. I'm getting compliments, okay? You look really nice, Cancer. Um, and I feel these compliments that are coming in, they're genuine, genuine. 
So there is someone coming in here over the next 48 hours offering their cup of love or uh, their, their cup of emotion. Um, however they're feeling, they're, they're coming in and they're wanting to express that or act on those feelings, okay? You might also feel the need to act on some lovely feelings here for someone. Let's see what else is coming through. Okay, next one is the Temperance card. Okay, this is Major Arcana for Sagittarius. So for some of you, you may be connecting to a Sagittarius at this time. Okay, give me a moment. There's a need for you over the next 48 hours to stay balanced. There's a need for you to stay calm and stay centered. Do not let your emotions uh, pull you out of your center. So even if there is someone here coming in, complimenting you, I want you to try, Cancer, to stay grounded within that. Stay humble. Don't let yourself or don't allow yourself to get swept up with those compliments to the point that, does that make sense? We don't want your emotions to become erratic. We don't want them to be sort of, yeah, erratic. I'm, it's, it's almost like spirit saying here, stay in your center. Even with the nine of voices, stay in your center. It's asking for you to stay neutral here or remain neutral. Okay, the compliment is coming in. Say thank you. Okay, sort of don't let that, don't let your, don't let yourself be swept up. Don't let yourself get caught up with that compliment. Okay, stay humble, stay in your center, stay neutral about this, accept it graciously. But I don't know why that's how spirit's just asking for you. I feel like it's actually a test. Okay, it's a test to see how in control of your emotions you really are. Or how much you're allowing this other person to control you emotionally. So we're going to come in and quickly clarify. So let's clarify with the nine of voices. I'm coming in with the same deck, okay? Okay, I'll take the first card that I see. Yeah, there's the two of materials. So you might be thinking here, oh, they're talking to somebody else. Okay, um, they're entertaining somebody else because the two of materials can be, it's a card of doing the juggling act, juggling maybe yourself and somebody else. If they're not talking to you, they must be talking to somebody else. If they're not taking you out on a date, they must be entertaining somebody else, right? It's because you're in your head about this, okay? Try to avoid doing that. Um, and also too, the two of materials is saying here, try not to place all of your focus on one person, Cancer. Don't do that. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. The two of materials is saying, you know what, like kind of try and, um, you know, divvy up your attention between maybe two people. It's not like you're committed to anybody here or, it, I mean, you could be, but the situation is saying here, don't place all of your eggs in one basket. Don't do that. You know, I hope, I hope I'm making sense. So let's clarify the Nine of Voices. Let's come in and expand on the Nine of Voices. Spirit, Angels and Guides, what messages do you have for our... Okay, I'll take the first card that I see, which is the Three of Voices. Okay, Three of Voices, Nine of Voices... I feel that you're dealing with some hurt. Okay, the reason why, like, I want to say the three of voices, this is your doing, can't, this could be your doing, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to blame you entirely, but if you're in your head, 
then you're going to end up screwing yourself over at the end of the day. Okay. Yes, this person may have let you down or disappointed you, but if you're allowing your thoughts to be governed by this person, then at the end of the day, you're only hurting yourself. Okay. Spirit's saying here, you've, you've shed enough tears. Whether it's over this person or just you've shed enough tears. You, you've been through uh, something similar in the past. Don't, don't go there. You know, it, it's a closed door. I'm seeing a closed door here. Close the door. Keep the door shut. Why, why go there? <laughs> you know, why go back into the past? We're not living in the past. We're living in the now. So if, if you're going to return to a situation um, that really isn't necessary, then why hurt yourself or why create something that doesn't need to be created? Okay, if, if you're wanting to heal, then it's you've got to do the things that are going to help you heal and, and strengthen those hurts. Okay, going back to the past or allowing your thoughts to escape you, I feel it's only going to keep you trapped. It's only going to keep you stuck in that hurt and that pain. It's, 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 there's no point in going down the rabbit hole. There's no point in going down the rabbit hole. That's what I feel. Uh, the three of voices can speak to third party energies. So look, it could be the other person. Um, I mean, there could be a third party situation here. Someone could have feelings for somebody else. But I'm not, I'm not seeing that greatly in the reading. So let's expand on the King of Cups. Okay, I'm going to take the top one I felt called to. The four of voices. Yes, I love this. This is the four of cups. You know what? It's kind of saying, like when I look at the, this four of voices, this woman, she's taking a bath. She's relaxing in the bubble bath, you know, like, it's just like, eh, I'm over here doing my own thing, having a bubble bath. I'm, I'm all chill. I'm, I be chill over here. So it's asking for you to just not let silly things or not let the situation or not let your illusions play tricks on you. Be in control. Do things that are going to keep you calm and do things that are going to keep you in your center. Okay, that might be taking a bubble bath. What is going to soothe you at the end of the day? What soothes you the most, Cancer? What gives you the most pleasure and the most joy? And go and do that. This is also a card saying, meh, I'm not interested. You know, so if, if this person isn't calling you or isn't reaching out, why are you letting yourself get affected by that? So the, the King of Cups doesn't. The King of Cups, he, he loves himself. He loves himself. He knows he's got a big heart and he, he will give it to the person that deserves it. So it's like, meh, I'm just going to be over here and I'm going to do things that are going to keep me chill, that are going to keep me calm. So it's, it's asking for you to stay calm. Keep your emotions in check. It's not saying that you can't feel your emotions. But it is asking for you to be discerning of where you're leaking your energy. So let's expand on the star card. We've got the Ace of Inspiration. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you may be uh, praying for a, a fire sign here, a fire sign to reach out. The Ace of Inspiration is, it's inspired action. It's, it's new beginnings. It's someone taking action, okay? Someone acting on their desires. Um, it, this is excitable energy and it's, It's, let's, let's have a look. Because there's a lot to take in with these cards. 
you are hoping for this person to reach out. That's what it is, strongly, ace of inspiration. You want uh, this person to reach out here. And I feel with the ace of inspiration, you know what? I feel that they will, because this is a card of action. This is acting on one's passions. Okay, someone's got you excited here. And look, it's touching the night of emotions as well. So there may be someone here that really sees you in a high light or views you in a high light, Cancer, and they are being pulled to reach out, send you a text message, send you um, yeah, a call or a compliment here. So yeah, this person is being called to act on their feelings. Because you, you're probably making them feel good. There's something here that is has got this person emotionally excited anyway. Okay, let's see what this goes. It's the Hanged Muse. So if there is someone here that has been holding back, because I see the Hanged Muse is someone who's sort of like holding back. But I feel they're going to see something here because I'm, I'm seeing a little eye. You know, the, the hanged muse is the its perspective. Maybe this person or yourself is seeing something from a different angle or a different perspective. And it's kind of got the heart racing here. So like I said, Cancer, if this person has been holding back, you can expect this person to reach out. Okay, they're going to change that. They're coming down from this hanged position. Okay, let's have a look at this temperance. That's why the temperance card is saying stay neutral. Don't react. Just be yourself. Be yourself, Cancer. Um, it's not asking for you to have your walls up either. Okay, it's asking for you to be in your heart center. Be, in, be genuinely who you are. I hope that makes sense. So let's take a look at the temperance card. Okay, yes. Now we've got the queen of emotions. First we had the king of emotions. Now we've got the queen of emotions. Now the queen of emotions, she's very nurturing. Okay, she's very caring. She's very nurturing. You know you best. Cancer, you know you best. Um, this is a very loving energy. This is unconditional energy. She's, she also too is in control of her emotions, okay? But I, I feel here, it's just saying, just be you, Cancer. If this person reaches out, you know, just be yourself. Be in your heart center. Um, there's no need to be, if you have been sort of pushing them away or being distant with them, the queen of emotions, she's she's not like that. She's in her heart center. She's very caring. She's very kind. She's very loving. She's very compassionate. She's very understanding. So it's asking for you to bring all of your strengths into the next 48 hours, okay? All of your strengths, all of your good points, bring them, bring them with you. Bring them to the table. Because at the end of the day, that's what makes you attractive, Cancer. That's what draws people to you. You know it. You know it best. So I'm just going to finish off with some oracle cards. I'm going to grab one oracle card and I'm going to leave it there. So we're going to grab a wisdom of the oracle card for a last parting message or just some advice, Cancer. Okay, this one wants to come through. I'm seeing it. Okay, so it's saying here, not for you not for you so this is a, a number six card and I, I believe we're in a number six year so six to me represents harmony in love okay harmony in love so look this situation or this person may not be for you um Or it's kind of like, 
if this person isn't reciprocating your love um, or because we've got the king and queen of cups here okay so this is this is a divine pair this is a divine connection if you truly feel at your heart center that this person isn't pouring into the love funnel, then you know deep down inside this person is not for you. And just accepting that this person might not be for you will have you feeling in that neutral energy of the temperance. Okay, you will stay calm because you're okay with it or you might be accepting of this. You might be telling yourself this person isn't for you. This might be the Nine of Swords energy where you're in your illusion about this or you're in your head about this saying, oh, this person's not for me or maybe they don't want me. Like, don't do that. It's also saying here, don't do that because the number six is here. It's a card of harm. It's a number of harmony. It's a number of love. This person could very well be for you. Okay, we do have a chessboard here. It may feel like this person is playing games, okay? And then you're telling yourself, oh, they don't, they don't want me. But I feel like here you're, you're only playing yourself if you do this. Follow your heart, Cancer, is what the cards are saying. Follow your heart, listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, you know best. So there we have it, Cancer. That's your reading. I do hope this was insightful. Thank you for watching this to the very end. I love you. I love you. I love you. And until my next reading, guys, take care.